Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. In this video, I'll be doing an unboxing, an overview, and setup of the AC Infinity Aircom T8 cooling system. Now, before we get into the video, if you're into home theater, audio, and video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right, guys, well, I want to give a big thanks to the folks over at AC Infinity for sending me not one, but two T8 air cooling systems. One will be used to review here on the channel, and the other one I'll be giving away. So make sure that you stay tuned all the way to the end of the video so that you can find out how you can enter to win. So enough talking, let's get to unboxing. All right, let's go ahead and get it unboxed here. All right, so inside we got some bubble wrap here to protect the units. Nice, I like the packaging on this thing, man. This looks sweet. All right, let's get both of these out. We'll take a look. I'm gonna lay one off to the side for now. All right, let's just take a look at this one here. All right, so here we have the AC Infinity Aircom T8. It's a component cooling system. As you guys know, probably one of the worst um, enemies of electronics is heat. And so the way this is designed is actually placed on top of your uh, AV receiver or maybe an amplifier, and it sucks that air up, the hot air out of the unit, and then disperses that into your room. Now this particular model is a rear exhaust and I'll explain some different options that they have in different models in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and get this out and we'll take a look. All right, lay that off to the side. So here we have our AC power connection. Definitely like the way they package this. Seems to be just a really nice way of protecting the unit during shipping. Now the unit feels pretty lightweight, so there's not a not going to be heavy on top of your uh, receiver all right man let's go ahead and take a closer look all right so here i have my marantz sr8012 currently it's not set up in my system right now because i'm reviewing the av7705 preamp but i've had this unit turned on for right at an hour and when i put my hand up here on the top it's definitely warm to the touch it's not super hot but definitely there's some heat coming out of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the air comm unit. We're gonna place it right on top of the SR8012. And one thing I already like about this, it has almost the exact same curvature of the Marantz unit. And so man, if you've got a Marantz, holy cow, this thing has the same, very, at least very similar styling and so that looks really really cool so we're going to reach around to the back and plug in the power cable and the unit's going to go ahead and turn on okay so now let's take a closer look at the front panel the front panel consists of four primary buttons up at the top left we have the mode button now the mode button selects through several different modes so right now it's on auto if i press it again it goes to smart press it again on Press it again is off. Press it one more time is alarm. And we'll go through each one of these individually in just a moment. The button below that is a leaf button that just toggles on and off the LCD panel. If you hold the button for about three seconds, it'll change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So we'll go ahead and change that back by pressing and holding for a few seconds. Over to the far right, we have an up and down toggle. Now this typically is going to change your temperature as well as the fan settings. So with it on auto, if I adjust it up and down, you can see the setting over here, adjust the temperature. Now when the unit is set to auto, it works just like your home thermostat does for your air conditioner. Once the temperature on the unit reaches the designated setting, in this case it's 80 degrees, the fans will kick on. Now the fans will not kick off until the temperature reaches about four degrees below that. So with it set at 80 degrees, 
the temperature on the unit would have to drop down to about 76 degrees before the fans would turn off. So if we toggle over to the next option, which is smart, smart actually works a little bit different. The smart mode is basically like an energy saving mode and that allows the fans to actually change the speed depending on the temperature. So once again, we would set our desired temperature. So in this case, it's 80 degrees. Now in the smart mode, for every four degrees that it gets below that setting, the fan, you can see this setting right here, right now it's on two, it'll decrease by one notch or one setting. So each time it drops four degrees below, the fan will go down one notch, it drops another four, the fan will go down even further. Now this unit is pretty cool because you can actually set a max fan speed. And the way we do that is we toggle over to on. So right now it's set to on. So right now we've got it set to two. We can adjust this up to three, four, five, all the way up to six. Now, of course, if I get real close, you can hear the fans in the unit. So the higher that setting, of course, the louder the fans are going to be. And honestly, that's really loud. I would not want that while I'm watching a movie, especially during quiet scenes. And so what you can do with this unit is adjust it to say the loudness that you're comfortable with. And for me, even three is a little bit loud. So I'll probably try it at two and kind of see how that works. So whatever selection we make when it's in the on position will determine the max speed when this is set to smart. So we're going to leave it set at two and toggle over to the next one, which is off. Now you may wonder why in the world would I turn it off? Okay. Isn't the purpose of the fan to use it so that I can keep my equipment cool? Absolutely. But what you would use the off setting for is to adjust the brightness of this LCD panel. All we have to do is reach over here and hit the down arrow and we can adjust it down two notches. That's as low as or dim as it'll go, or we can adjust it up as well. So of course, once you determine what brightness you want it to be, make sure you turn it to one of the appropriate settings so that your fans continue to work when your receiver is turned on. So let's go to the next toggle. Now that is the alarm. So the alarm allows you to set a temperature where if this unit reaches that temperature, it's going to make an audible sound, letting you know, hey, this thing is getting really hot. So in this case, I'm gonna turn the alarm up to say, I don't know, I'm gonna do 110. So if this unit reaches 110 degrees, then it will audibly let me know. Now the alarm will only sound if it is set to on, auto, or in smart mode. So once again, once you've set that, be sure to set it back to either on, auto, or smart mode, or your fan is not going to turn on. Now, if this unit does hit that 110 degrees, it's going to turn on the fans at max speed until it can get it down to an appropriate temperature. Now, if by chance you want to turn the alarm feature off, all you have to do is increase the temperature until it gets to 140 degrees and then hit it one more time until it says OF, which is off. So in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back down to 110 degrees. And we'll leave it set right there. So now that I have the settings where I want them, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to smart and we can hear the temperature fans just kick back on and it's at a maximum of the second speed. Now, if we turn the T8 unit around, we can see what we have on the back. Over on the far right, we have our power connection. All across the back of the unit, we have these massive air vents. Now this allows all of the airflow to exit the rear of the unit. And on the far left, we have two USB ports. What this allows you to do is connect several multi-fans or air plate fans that can be plugged directly into the T8 and use the programming from the T8 to control those fans. And if we look at the bottom of the unit, you'll see the unit has three cooling fans and then each one of the feet has rubber pads so you don't have to worry about scratching the top of the surface of your components. All right, so before I tell you how you can win your very own T8, I just wanna share with you my initial thoughts of the unit. I think the T8's got a lot of great features in it. I really like the smart feature. 
that allows the unit to kind of have a variable uh, fan speed and you're able to set that maximum fan speed. I think that's slick. I really like the fact that you can also turn off or just dim the front LCD panel. When you've got this unit up front, the last thing you want is these blaring uh, blue lights staring at you while you're trying to watch a movie. The T8 was really simple to set up. Only took me a few minutes to go through the various menus to be able to change the settings. And once you set it, you kind of forget it. You just put it into your system, set it up, configure it the way that you want it. If you want to change it down the road, that's fine. Now, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that there is the option also to lock the front LCD panel. So if you press and hold the mode button, which is that top left button, hold it for about three seconds, it'll lock the LCD panel so that when somebody presses any of the buttons, maybe you've got young kids in your family and you don't want them to be able to change your settings, you can kind of lock those to prevent that from happening. So that's a cool feature as well. Now with this unit, you can place something on top of it, but definitely you don't want to put something heavy like a receiver. Most receivers are going to exceed the 10 pound weight limit. And so you could put something like a Blu-ray player on top. That should be fine. Um, just anything kind of small would be fine to place on top of that if you're trying to stack this in your rack. So my recommendation would be not to put anything on it. But like I said, if you need to put something light on top, as long as it's under 10 pounds, should be good to go. Now, since I have a Marantz SR8012 receiver in my setup, I love the fact that the T8 matches the Marantz like beautifully. It follows the same curvature of the Marantz and just looks really nice together when paired with it. Now, there's only two kind of negative things that I can see from the Aircom T8. The number one is the fact that it does have a variable speed. So we've got uh, speeds from one all the way up to six, six being the highest. Now I found that about two is where I prefer to have it. Um, audibly. I don't want the fan blowing real loud and so I found with three, especially four, five, and six, those were way too loud for a room when nothing's going on. Now when you're watching a movie, of course, you've got explosions or you may have a lot of dialogue or things that are kind of overpowering those fans and so that wouldn't be a problem during an action sequence. But what happens when it gets dead quiet? Then you're going to hear it and my preference would be not to hear it. I want it to kind of disappear in my system, so I'm going to keep it set at the second uh, fan speed as the maximum. But that's also a benefit, the fact that you can go in and adjust that to your liking, so I really like that. But just know, you're probably not gonna to want to run these fans you know, wide open. It's gonna be pretty noticeable and pretty loud in your setup. And the only other negative that I see with the unit is the price. Now coming in at $110, um, some people may say, well, man, that's a little steep. I mean, I can go and buy some cheap fans and put on top of those like a computer fan and I can make shift something. Sure, you can definitely do that and you can have them running all the time. Um, but if you want the feature set, if you want the, the variable speeds, if you want this thing to be able to program it to your liking and let it just do its thing, um, that's where the value comes in this, knowing that your equipment is going to be cooled at the appropriate times and not just running all the time. Now, if $110 seems a bit much, AC Infinity does have several other models that are less expensive. They have some smaller 12 inch fans that run about $50. And then they even have a, a series kind of in between those two at about $80. So depending on your budget and depending on your needs, they've got one that should fit that. Now, one other thing I want to mention about their cooling systems is at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that the T8 is actually rear ported. And so all of the exhaust is coming out the back of the unit. And so depending on your setup, you may, if you've got a lot of space above your receiver, you may want to get the model that has up firing exhaust. You'll see the three fans on the top. And so that sucks all the air upward and away from the unit. If your receiver is in a cabinet where the backside is pretty closed and maybe the top is really closed, you might want to get the model that fires to the front. And so all of the hot air is coming out the front. In my setup here behind my cabinet, I've got plenty of room. And so I definitely don't have a lot of space above the unit. And so I didn't want to blow air right up on top underneath my cabinet because that's going to generate even more heat. And so pushing it right outside the back was a perfect fit 
for my room. Now, if you're interested in purchasing one of the units for your home theater setup, I'll post links to the various models down in the description below, and you can check those out. Now for what you guys have all been waiting for, the giveaway. AC Infinity has been gracious enough to donate one of these to the channel so that I can give it away to one of you guys. So all you have to do to enter to win is head over to youthmanreviews.com. Right on the homepage, you'll see a graphic that says the giveaway. Click on that, it'll take you to the giveaway page. Once you enter your information, there's several different ways that you can increase your chances of getting this unit. And so take a look at those. I believe there's four ways that you can enter to win. And so good luck with you guys. Hope you end up winning one. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.